Hi, my name is Billy Trimbo with Cisco Tech. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the different deployment options for Jabber on Unified Communications Manager. If needed, please see the first video in this series on how to configure UC services and service profiles for Jabber on Unified Communications Manager. A general UC service profile configuration for Jabber will provide a user with full UC access, which allows instant messaging, presence, voicemail, and phone control features. But what if we want to configure just some users for limited options? Let's take a look at how to configure Jabber for various types of deployments. From the Communications Manager website, we will go to the Service Profile for the User Management and User Settings menu. Here we have a default service profile which includes full UC access. We can copy this configuration and disable some options. First, uncheck the option to make this the default service profile as we don't want to change all users for this new service profile. Then we can change the service profile for these limited options. Let's start with the configuration of Jabber in IM only mode. This means that the Jabber user will not have phone services and will only be able to send instant messages with presence capabilities. The requirements for this configuration are simple. There is no need to have a service profile for this user with voicemail or CTI servers, so we can disable it for the service profile. The user must also be provisioned without any devices in the end user page. And a custom Jabber config file can be created to disable telephony. With this configuration, the Jabber client has no voicemail or phone icons. This tells us the client is only using instant messaging and presence features. Let's configure phone only mode now. I'll take another copy of the service profile and add back the voicemail and CTI service. Then I'll disable the IM and presence service by setting it to none. Save that and go to the end user page for a Jabber user. First, I will add a device for this user. Then set the service profile to phone mode only option and uncheck the option to enable user for unified CM IM and presence and save the configuration. After removing the custom Jabber config XML so that telephony would be enabled again, I have reset the Jabber client. Now after the login with phone only mode configuration, the contacts icon is gone and phone services are available. Now we can lastly also include phone mode with contacts so the user can retain the contact list. However, this is a global change that will affect all users. First, from the Presence Administration page, we will need to disable the instant messaging features from the Messaging and Settings page. Uncheck the option here to disable instant messaging. This will require an XAP router restart on all Presence nodes, which is service impacting. Once XCP router is restarted, go back to the end user page in Communications Manager and enable the user for unified CM, IM, and presence, then save the configuration. We'll reset Jabber again and log in. And here you see the Jabber client in phone only mode but with the addition of the context icon. Notice, however, that the option to send an instant message is unavailable. We can only call these contacts. The phone only mode with context option being an exception, I can keep the other deployment options and easily change between them for any users from the end user page. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.